Hey there, everybody. You're listening to Radio Greensboro. I got Charles Walker here in the yo, studio. Yo, yo, yo. So I'm going to ask him some questions. So um, first to start off, I like to ask artists how they got uh, involved in music and what kind of drove them to uh, pursue <clears throat> it. Uh, well, I've been writing songs since I was about 10. My mother was a songwriter for a long time. I grew up uh, listening to her bands play in the living room while I was trying to sleep, like things like that. Just mm -hmm. kind of always had it in my family. My grandmother is an incredible like classical pianist. Oh, sweet. So I started doing piano lessons when I was like really little, and mm -hmm. I didn't care for it really. Um, I still play a little, but I just didn't really like, you know, the it felt like homework. Yeah. <laughs> so I didn't really, I think I picked up guitar and I felt like that was a more expressive, you know, like I got into rock because mm -hmm. I was like playing Guitar Hero and stuff. Yeah. And I was just like, oh, this is a whole different thing. Mm -hmm. So it felt a lot looser and more expressive. And then, um, yeah, and then I started writing when I was like 10 and I just kind of never stopped. Yeah, that's awesome. Sweet. Um, so why don't we talk about uh, some, some processes? So I guess songwriting, um, one thing I kind of noticed with your music is a lot it's a lot of uh like self confrontation so yeah that's right would you say that that's kind of your your therapy is writing songs about about those issues you have yeah absolutely yeah. it's like um yeah i think i think a lot of the artists i like do that too mm -hmm. like i think i got influenced when i especially when i first started writing lyrics i was listening to a lot of artists who um who do that whole like kind of i mean it's not really it's like you said it's confrontational yeah it's not just like putting yourself down yeah. it's more like i want to be better yeah like exactly. that's a constant theme for mm -hmm. me is like how can i be better yeah um in every single way like yeah. and, and a lot of that's about writing it's about yeah. you know how can i be a better musician how can i be a better like uh relationship like a boyfriend how yeah. can i be a better friend to people but yeah and i think i do i think i just think about that stuff a lot yeah um, or actually, it might it might be that I don't think about it enough, and so I, I set a, aside time for me to yeah. like writing songs is how I compartmentalize that yeah. emotion. Yeah, is like uh, I, I I think I I don't self crit enough, and then yeah. in moments where I self criticize, that's when it's almost like that uh, feeling or that emotion of like I need to self criticize. Yeah, is linked in my head to writing a song. Like yeah. as soon as I feel that kind of thing, I'm like oh, I want to write. So yeah. I end up with a bunch of these songs that are like I'm garbage and I need to yeah. be better. <laughs> <laughs> I feel that and like. Yeah. I don't know if you like share in this opinion, but I, I, I like there are songs, you know, that's like it's just all about how happy the person is. And like, that's right. great. But like, I feel like the stuff that's worth writing about is the right. stuff like that, you know, like, well, it's, yeah, stuff. it's just like any form of media, whether it's a play or a movie or a song. It's like if there's no conflict, yeah, there's not a lot to keep your interest. And I have some songs like I have a song called Time to Spend. That's just a love song. And it's yeah. good for those once in a while. But like, yeah. I do feel like there are like 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 in pop music it's like 90 percent of it is just like happy 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 yeah and it just doesn't leave much to consider it doesn't yeah. really you know it's, yeah, it's just kind of deep into the like human experience you know like you're that, absolutely right it's kind of like deep. it's just like one it's too i don't know it's too basic of a it's like a snapshot of one feeling and yeah. then where, where, where do you go from there you yeah know? and there's only so much you can say about being happy but like emotions that are the opposite are so complicated you know and that's like what you need to write about you know like that's Absolutely. what i feel like you know and i don't feel like most people are happy 100 percent of the yeah, time yeah. so it, I mean, it's relatable too yeah exactly you know Word. um so continuing on with the process is uh recording you've been working on some stuff you released a single recently uh how was recording that and that process it's been really good um I'm trying, it was going to be an LP coming out this summer. I think it's going to be an EP now just because yeah. I'm strapped for time. Mm -hmm. But I think I'm going to do like an EP this year and then another one next year yeah. instead of doing like one LP and then sitting on it for several years. Yeah. I'll just make it more consistent. Like yeah. You'll get more mu music from me regularly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, it's been good. I'm working at this studio. I go to, I'm sorry, I go to Appalachian State yeah. in Boone. Mm -hmm. And I've been working on the studio on campus there a lot. Oh, sweet. They have like a studio that anybody can use. It's like in the library. Mm -hmm. And um, been tracking a lot of guitar and vocals there. Um, and then I usually like go home to Charlotte, which is where I'm from and track like bass and drums. Yeah. Uh, shout out Nick Lewis. Mm -hmm. He plays drums on most of my records now. He's in a great band called Placeholder. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, this kid, Brad Williamson is playing a lot of bass on my stuff now. He's in a great band called Vicarious mm -hmm. and Colin Moser is playing some guitar on my stuff, but I have like pretty much like pretty much a band actually. Yeah. I didn't never really thought about it that way, but in the studio I have like the same people who come in and mm -hmm. we write the drum bass and guitar parts together. Yeah. And, um, but I'm, I, I, my first record I produced and mixed now I'm producing, but I I'm sending off the stems to a produ to a mixer. Yeah. So like I'm getting it mixed and everything sounds a little bit more polished. Yeah. Um, but it's very collaborative. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of like just hanging out and riffing and it's, yeah. it's a good, it's a great time. I really enjoy being in the studio. Yeah. That's awesome. And mm -hmm. well, 
I, since you're usually in the the one man and his guitar format, have you ever thought about kind of getting a, a fuller band together for for shows? Yeah, the, well, I've tw- so I've gone on tour twice, mm-hmm. and both times I have had a band okay, with me, cool. and it's yeah. actually been well the only consistent person I guess to that group I mentioned a second ago is uh, Nick, but Nick Lewis played drums for me like two years ago mm-hmm. on tour, and Timmy played bass for me. Oh, our awesome. friend, yeah, we have a mutual yeah. friend, Timmy Emmerich. Hell He's yeah. at work right now. Yeah, but uh, yeah, he played bass for me and a bunch of yeah. I've I've always had um, had a band. This is this summer when I go on tour will be the first time that it's just me alone. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's really just it's not that I don't like having a band. I prefer it. It's just a um, a situational thing. Yeah, no like circumstantial. Just yeah. being in college and every like like the last band kind of broke up because we all went off to college mm-hmm. like after high school. Yeah, and now it's like. I could put something together, but it's hard to get a bunch of students in the same room like once a week. And mm-hmm. and a lot of people want to do like more creative projects. So having people play my music, they're yeah. like, I'd rather like write with someone, you know, yeah. which I totally appreciate. Mm-hmm. So it's just situationally, it's a little bit tricky to get yeah. a band and keep a band together. Mm-hmm. But I do plan on having another one eventually, probably yeah. in the fall. I'll try to put something mm-hmm. else together. But I, I definitely constantly play with people. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, um, you were talking about touring, so why don't you talk about your touring experience and uh, touring? You enjoyed that. Touring's amazing. Yeah. Um, have you Have you guys toured? Not yet. You dude. haven't toured? Not you yet. Tour. Yeah. It's so sick. I really yeah, yeah. want to. It's so much fun. It's yeah. like, um, I don't know, tour wise. I mean, I don't think my tours are long enough to be called tours. I've gone on the road for five days once. Well, I'm sorry, five shows, and another time I did nine shows. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I've done a bunch of like weekend runs, which are like two or three shows in one weekend. Yeah. Like southeast regionally. Mm-hmm. Um. But it's amazing. This summer, I'm going to be touring for, I mean, like, my window of touring is, like, 30 days. Like, I'm mm-hmm. going to try to be on the road for a month. Oh, yeah. So, I might end up booking 20 of those shows. I mm-hmm. might get all 30. I don't know. Yeah. It's really, it's a, a gamble mm-hmm. early on. Um, but regardless, it's it's the most fun thing in the world, just playing your music. And, um, even, I mean, the experience of playing a concert is great, but, like, people don't think about what else goes into touring, like, uh, like staying with people that you only get to see like once a year because you're, you know, like yeah. when else would I go to like, I don't know, there's tons of places um, that I would never go to, but I go because I tour and yeah. I get to hang out with people and see people I've never seen yeah. or that I haven't seen in a long time. Um, you meet people, you meet tons of people every day. Like it's yeah. just, a, it, the networking is amazing and mm-hmm. just being with other creative people who like own venues and other bands you play with. And then um, just like, playing a show and then eating and then crashing and waking up and like hanging out with your friends in the car for six hours and yeah. then repeating for however long. It's just like, it's the best thing. Yeah. And I've heard bands that really struggle with it. Like I know it can be bad. Mm-hmm. Um, I've had all good experiences so far, but yeah. I also haven't done it that much. Yeah, I've exactly. only done, you know, two like roughly a week long mm-hmm. tours. So um, it'll be weird touring by myself this summer. Yeah. Um, I'm linking up with... Um, I'm linking up with other artists along the way. Mm-hmm. Like the first four days of the tour are with this artist named Sam Anderson from Boone. Yeah. And then the next four are with like John Dwyer from Virginia. And there's like four or five of those mm-hmm. where like I'll be, so I, I won't yeah. be like in the car alone. Like mm-hmm. I'll have people to hang out with. Yeah. And just to, just to collaborate and play shows with like amazing musicians that I am so privileged to perform with mm-hmm. every night. Yeah. So I'm excited for that, but uh, not having like five dudes in a car like hanging out, it'll be a different vibe. Yeah. But, um, the camaraderie is feel like a. I feel like the camaraderie is a big part. It know? is absolutely. And just like that's that's why I wanted to is just like be with like four of my best friends. Oh yeah. Road, you know? No, no. I mean, like th- I've been hanging out with Timmy this weekend. That's yeah. like I I came in to Greensboro for the weekend to do this. Yeah. And like we still talk about it, mm-hmm. and it was two years ago. Yeah. Like There's so many like inside jokes, and like mm-hmm. it's just the best. Like it's yeah. actually the best. Exactly. It's like summer camp, but you're like getting paid. Like, yeah. It's, just, like, it's <laughs> yeah. so cool. And play music. Like, yeah. And play time. music you love. Yeah. yeah it's That's amazing. awesome. Um. Well, what is there anything specifically you'd like to, uh, I guess, plug or anything you'd like to inform our listeners of uh, in your future? Yes. Um. I have a new single out called Castles. It is on SoundCloud. It is on Bandcamp. It's going to be up on streaming stuff. It might be by now, but it'll be up in the next couple of days on like Spotify and Apple Music and stuff. Sweet. But it's Castles by Charles Walker. Um, that is my new single, and I'll have a new record coming this summer. Um, and also, if you go to charleswalkermusic.com, you can see all my tour dates that are coming up. Um, got several lined up, like six or seven that are now, and then pretty soon I'll announce that long mm-hmm. month of shows this summer. But yeah, lots of stuff's happening, man. Working on a music video for Castles. Sweet. Um, 
And, uh, yeah, just lots of stuff's going on. So charleswalkermusic.com. And just look up Charles Walker on, like, Twitter, Instagram, whatever. I'm on everything. Yeah. So definitely want to connect with people. So yeah, yeah. Hit me yeah. up. Yeah, check them out, everyone. Check me out. And check out Poe Palace. Uh, <laughs> check out Ethan's band. Gosh, okay. Do you ever plug your own band on the radio? Uh, no, I can't. I feel kind of bad about it. If well, I you can feel bad, but I don't have to. Yeah, you can check do Check out me. Ethan's band, Poe Palace. They're dope. I didn't say it. He did. All right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, everyone, for listening. Thanks again, Charles, for coming in. Yeah, man. Thank great you. Great time. Appreciate dude. it. All right. Have a good night, everyone.